your ship will dock in Piraeus, a town seven miles from the center of Athens. The currency will be the euro, and Greek is the language, although English is widely spoken and understood in tourist areas. On our visit, we will board the Hop on Hop Off bus, ride it into the city to visit the Temple of Zeus, take a lap in the pa historic Panathenaic Stadium, climb to see the Parthenon and Acropolis, shop for some souvenirs at Monastriaki Flea Market, view the changing of the guard, stroll through Anaphiotica and Plaka, take in a movie at Cine Paris, visit the ancient biblical city of Corinth as well as the Corinth Canal, and visit a beach to cool off from the hot Greek summer. Our crews afforded us several days to explore Athens, so if you're on a tighter time constraint, just pick and choose which of these things you'd like to do. Athens is one of the easier ports to navigate on your own due to the proximity of the major sites in the downtown area and a hop-on, hop-off bus that will pick you up and drop you off directly at your cruise ship. Tickets for the bus can be purchased online and are $32 for 24 hours or $44 for 72 hours. Make sure you buy your ticket that includes Piraeus and Athens and also the Riviera if you'd like to visit the beach. Our first stop is the Panathenaic Stadium, site of the opening and closing ceremonies of the 1896 Olympics. The stadium was also used as a venue during the 2004 Olympics. It is the only stadium in the world built entirely of marble. You are allowed to walk or run around the track in the stadium, so bring your shoes. You can also have your picture taken on top of the metal podium with some friends. The views from the top row of the stadium are worth the climb as you can see the Acropolis and much of Athens from there. Don't forget to walk the tunnel and visit the museum and gift shop. Tickets to enter the stadium are 5 euros and can be bought on site. After reliving our Olympic glory at the stadium, it is just a short 5 minute walk to the Temple of Zeus. The Temple of Zeus at Olympia is an ancient Greek temple dedicated to Zeus. It was built around 457 BC and was destroyed by earthquakes. You are able to walk up quite close to the temple, but you are limited by a rope keeping you from the columns. Tickets to the Temple of Zeus are 6 euros per person, or you can buy a combination ticket here for 30 euros per person, which will get you into many other sites, including the Acropolis. We recommend buying the combination ticket here as the line will be much shorter than at the Acropolis and you'll bypass hundreds of people waiting to buy a ticket there. On our walk from the Temple of Zeus to the Acropolis, we will wander through the streets of Plaka to pick up a few souvenirs and grab some food and water. Plaka is one of the most popular areas of the city for tourists to visit and is full of shops and restaurants to take refuge from the hot Athens summer. Don't spend too much time in Plaka though, as you'll also want to spend some time finding the hidden neighborhood of Anaphiotica. Without directions, it's hard to locate, but once there, it is well worth the effort. We have a video which we will link at the end giving directions to Anaphiotica. Construction workers from the island of Anafi built this charming part of Athens to resemble their island, and that gives it the feel of a Greek island right in the heart of Athens. It is one of the most Instagram spots in the entire city. You'll find other tourists trying to find their way through the tiny streets and also run into lots of cats that grace the neighborhood. It's now time to head up to the Acropolis. Hopefully you already have your ticket and can bypass the lines you'll encounter here. The Acropolis has two entrances, one used by groups and cruise ship tours, which gets very crowded, and another, the side entrance, you are able to use if you are visiting on your own. Using the side entrance comes with other perks, too. You'll walk through the Dionysus Sanctuary and Dionysus Theater on the way up. After passing the Dionysus Theater, you'll come to the Odeon of Herodes Atticus, which is a beautiful theater worthy of a stop. The main attractions await though, which is and are the Temple of Athena and the Parthenon. 
It will be hot at the top of the Acropolis during the summer, and stones can be quite slippery. Bring plenty of water for your walk up, and wear proper clothing to make your visit enjoyable. We loved our time on top of the Acropolis. It is a piece of ancient history you will not want to miss. Tickets are available on site and are 20 euros per person. Next, we will stroll over to see an awesome changing of the guard ceremony. The changing of the guard takes place in Syntagma Square every hour on the hour and there is a grand ceremony on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. From there, we visit the world-famous Monastriaki Flea Market. There is much more to do and see on Sunday than any other day, but if you visit during the week, you'll still be able to see plenty of vendors in their shops. We found quite a few unique items that we purchased, including Olympic souvenirs. We end our marathon day in Athens at the delightful Cine Paris, which shows movies on a giant outdoor screen under the stars and the lights of the Acropolis. We've found no better setting to see a movie anywhere in the world. Get there a little early to grab a seat and load up on snacks and drinks from the snack bar. Movies are usually in English with Greek subtitles and tickets start at six euros during the week. After a night spent on the ship, on day two, we decide to head to Corinth to see the ancient biblical city and the Corinth Canal. We booked a private tour through a local taxi company and had them drive us straight from the port to the canal and the ancient city. While similar in cost to the standard shore excursion, it allowed us to go at our own pace and see what we wanted in a more luxurious setting. Ancient Corinth did not disappoint as we were able to take our time walking through the ruins and thinking about what it must have been like 2,000 years ago. The canal is a short but worthwhile stop on your trip and is an engineering marvel. After a delicious late lunch at a local Greek restaurant with our driver, we head back towards the city and have him drop us off at a local beach. Make sure you get a re recommendation on a good local beach. We chose one that was serviced by the hop-on, hop-off bus, and with our 72-hour ticket, we were able to spend as much time as we wanted there before heading back to the ship. Athens is a magical city full of history and one that is not to be missed. Even if you are just going to go into town by yourself, it's really easy to do. The food is amazing everywhere you turn, so don't miss out on your chance to dine in an authentic Greek restaurant. We hope you enjoy your time in Athens. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more cruise content. If you liked the video, we'd appreciate if you gave it a like and leave us a comment about what you plan to do while you are in Athens. See you on the next video.